Well, hello everyone. This is Maybe here, and today I'll be installing a new hard drive or SSD into my MacBook Pro 13 inch. According to iFixit, I need a Phillips 00 screw driver. Um, I hope this is the right one. I don't. I don't even know. It just fits there, so I'm guessing that's 00. And Torx T6 screwdriver. Actually, I bought the wrong driver today. I went I went to buy stuff today and I bought the Pentalope screws screwdriver. I thought that was a, that was the one I need for the thing, but apparently not. So I just wait eight dollars. All right, so let's open this thing up. There we go. Oh, I think I already lost the other screws. Oh, it's over here. Never mind. All right, let me read the instructions first <laughs> before I do something stupid. It says to disconnect the battery. Eh. Eh. Oh, should I just do it? Okay, fine. I'll do it. Watch me getting electrocuted over here. Oh, it could broken off easily it says it's okay I'm a professional I'm trained for this there we go there we go I'm seeing the end here we go all right so now we are safe from getting electrocuted all right so let's Go on to the hard drive. Remove the two screws. All right, so we remove the bracket and use this to pull. Woo! Look at that! Look at that! All right. So my hard drive is made by Samsung. Holy shit! Samsung actually makes this? Oh boy. I should mention that I'm a really huge anti fan, anti fan of a Samsung. Not because of a smartphone, it's really because I have a TV. Um, and that TV broke in like a year and a half because of the bad um, capacitors. They, they actually had a court case and they actually lost. So I, I actually got, got money from them. But still, that kind of pisses me pisses me off. So I had to fix my own TV by myself, actually. So, and now it's working. So fuck you, Samsung. All right. So we removed the old crappy hard drive. Go as hell. Now we have a SSD to install. All right. Oh, we have to remove the Torx screws first. All right, we need to remove four of them. I apologize if the camera angle is like a crappy because I'm just using a webcam because I'm a lazy person. This is why you buy a HT webcam so you could pretend you have a really good camera while you're using a webcam. Right, I'm going to be I'm going to be careful not to <laughs> not to drop the screws on the inside of the computer. I did that once when I'm making a desktop computer. That was pretty bad. I have to spend 20 minutes looking for that screw. Alright, all the Torx screws are gone. And now it's time to replace with the new one. Alright, so we have a SSD here. I guess I put this screw back here. And right, hopefully it fits. Doesn't if it doesn't fit, I'm gonna cry actually. All right, it does fit. Okay, I I got kind of scared there. All right, all the screws are in place. I think I put this thing over like this way. Um, by the way, um, I read this on the forum and I'm researching about this. Um, if you're getting an SSD, it's better to put it on the cable that 
that the hard drive was in there. I think because um, the Zeta, this one has a faster speed, I think. And this, this, the Zeta for the C, the DVD drive has a slower Zeta, I think. I don't know, it says like that, so I recommend putting the like SSD on the hard drive place first. There we go. Now, let's do the steps backwards. All right, I have re reassembled my MacBook. Now, let's see what happens if I just boot up the empty hard drive. It turns up, and oh no, there's nothing in the hard drive. What should I do? It does absolutely nothing, okay. <laughs> It does absolutely nothing. All right, that's some. That's something. Let me figure out how to recover this thing. There was a recovery key, I think. Mac Pro recovery mode. Yep. It says like, what the fuck? <laughs> Where's everything? <laughs> I can't find anything. All right, it's Command R. Oh, there we go. This is a thing called internet recovery. Um, I think the newer MacBook, MacBooks have this. Uh, I, the older one doesn't like my old iMac. So yeah. Oh, this is actually made by Seagate, I think. But since Seagate was, I think, own, like got purchased by Samsung, I think. So it says Samsung, but has seagate.com on top of it that's interesting yeah it says seagate technology and it has a, C a seagate brand momentous but at the end there's samsung actually I, I i don't like seagate actually um i had two portable hard drives external hard drives both of them broke and one of them just like broke randomly one day so i lost like all the data here there so and also, the, I also have a Seagate hard drive on my iMac, and it broke. And I also had a recall program from Apple because apparently that hard drive sucked. So I actually got replaced. So yeah, that's three hard drives. <laughs> and all of them broke. Alright, I'm gonna... Let's run the, this utility first. Just to see... Yep, this thing works. Nice. Alright, now... Let's reinstall OS X. Is that Lion? I don't think. Oh, it's Mountain Lion. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's it. Blah, blah, blah. Select the disk you want to install OS X. Where's the disk? Um, there's no disk. Oh, uh, I guess I have to reformat the hard drive first. How do I format this? Oh, I guess I will erase first. Tosh HD Erase. There we go. Now I have partitioned this thing. All right, it's Macintosh HD. You're not connected to the power source. I'm 97% battery, man. All right, let's see how long it takes to install. Remember, I have SSD here, so about one hour and twenty. Okay, fifty-seven, forty-eight. It's going down. Forty-four, forty-three, forty. Hopefully, it's pretty sh short. All right, we'll be back. All right, <clears throat> finally, my OS X has been installed. Let's see how long it takes to boot up.
and it's over. Okay, that was pretty quick. All right, so that was my process of upgrading my hard drive to SSD. Yeah. So I hope you guys liked it. Um, like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Um, leave a comment if you don't like anything. So yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching.